Hello, you beautiful rebel of the cyberweb, cybernetic rebels. I am Amos Nimas, and welcome to this video. So today, I will be showing to you um, one of my last, most recent project. Very cool project. I'm very excited to share that to you. Um, it's the task utility. So let's get the uh, help usage for it. So uh, unknown command use H or help like this. So that wasn't valid. I needed to use a single H or I can even do like the help like this and I still get the usage uh, instruction. So very easy to understand. Uh, you have like uh, the task alone, which will print every task group by date. So let's try that um, task. Those are my tasks for today. And let's say I want to edit task number one. I can just do task edit one and then type a new description. So for example, dishes without necessarily specifying the time. Um, so I did CLS, that's the Windows comment because I have an alias for it, but I'm still on Linux. Uh, I love aliases, I use them for almost everything. Um, so let's say I want to task add uh, add a new task make a video for YouTube enter I select a color let's say five and I have a new task here make a video for YouTube and the coolest part about this is that at the bottom here I have like uh, this lemon bar it's called and I configured it using the uh, CD status nano status sh this script right here which uh decide what what it's displaying right now at the bottom here uh which is the date uh memory uh, the battery if if it's unplugged uh and here we have like the time displayed in a very minimal fashion love it uh and here you have like the task complete assignment and it changed every minute it's going to show you the next task which is workout and then the task after that uh, let's confirm that that they are in order so you have um, uh, okay so they're not displayed in order they're displayed randomly but I, I don't mind I don't mind it's, it works out anyway I don't care that it, they're displayed in order or not um, you have the new one that we just added make a YouTube video and is there other options um, yeah task color to change the color we could, we could try that change the color of the last one task color for that might be broken yeah this one's broken uh, need to be fixed, but who cares for the most part it, for the most part it does what it has to do and it works with different dates But right now I configured it with a temporary file that will be refreshed every time I reopen my computer But you could choose any file in your system really um, to be your file to store these and it will work and the status script is just accessing the the file that contains the task um, so let's take a look at the status script and where is it displaying the task? Um, it should be somewhere around here. So you look, we are looking for if the temp to do that MD exists and is not empty with the S argument, then print one random line within it and remove like the, uh, the date and color information. So you're left with only the task, uh, as you can set a button right there. So that's what it does that's how it works uh, very minimal and if you choose a different more permanent folder uh, you can it's just that line to change here and the status and this is available on my github by the way it's uh it's something i made fully available for everyone for free so uh yeah that's it for today folks um i'll go back to my shenanigans